Hello royalties, queens and kings. Welcome back. Welcome back, you all. I apologize again for being gone this long. I really didn't think I was going to be gone that long, but I just can't bring you all anything. But anywho, in today's video, I will be doing some modern wall art as well as room decor. And as you guys can see, I'm starting off with some canvases that I did purchase from Michaels, the two skinny ones. And the larger one is just a canvas that I purchased from the Goodwill and I painted with the white acrylic paint that I just recently showed you all as well as well. Um, actually coating the two smaller canvases with and the reason i'm doing that because i want them all to be the same shade of white i just didn't want their canvas look as the background of it because the next item I'm using is some spray paint yes so affordable so affordable i was like you know what i need me some pop of gold on the wall i didn't want to buy nothing i said you know what we're just going to use what we got to get what we want honey and that's basically what i'm doing here so i'm just taking my creativity and just letting my mind go whatever floats the boat or whatever that works for me or I think look good I'm just doing it so here I also try to put a little dimension a little bit of more spark to these canvas and I'm using some craft paint that also came from Walmart um, I'm using a dark gray as well as a metallic silver here I'm just doing the dark gray because I started and I was like okay Val, this is not the look that you was going for so I was just basically taking the paint and just scattering out and just wherever it fell it land it land so i went back with the metallic gold because i felt like i was missing a spot a spot just wasn't filled in or anything like that <laughs> so this is how it looking so far and at this point i was liking it but i was like something's still just not right it's just not giving me the vibes that i want maybe if i put the silver or the metallic silver in it or something i don't know but then i started thinking like no that's not it it's just not giving me the vibe so i kept going and i decided okay let me just spray the side so therefore it looked like it bleeds over towards the size the edge of the paint you know if you use some type of hand paint or whatever you know if you doing what you do so i decided to just do that and see would that actually give me the vibe that i wanted but that wasn't working for me that wasn't working okay so i brought the canvases in the house and as you guys can see i'm taking that met metallic <laughs> that white um acrylic paint from walmart and i'm basically covering it where all the whites at and where the spray paint pretty much bleed now this here was an accident well it wasn't an accident it was basically me trying to correct my wrongs and then i started to like it i like how the white actually made the metallic spray paint started to pop because with spray paint you know that it spreads out even though i was trying to keep as in a scrape pattern or following the same details that i was doing in the beginning tracing over it it still had the part long as the wind blowing the spray paint was going to scatter so basically when i started filling in uh covering in and making it whiter again or whatever and covering up the um the gray uh, splashes that i was putting on it i started to liken this look i was like okay we may have some here let's keep going let's keep going so that's basically what i did and i'm actually just gonna take it back outside and go over another coat with the metallic gold spray paint where i actually have the silver splashes onto the gold modern lines or outlines that i did which i'm showing you guys here so basically that's what i do go take it out spray paint it again and break it in then i will go back with the white paint again and outline it and it start to pops like i was like oh my goodness this is a look this is a vibe yes pal. yes 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 it's what we was going for this is the image that i want so i'm so happy the way that it did turn out i really do love the way this looks so i'm gonna show you guys how they look on the wall but don't forget to like and subscribe at this point thank you All right, queens and kings, so here it is on the wall. And what I like about this big one here, the big old piece, is because of the, some fact the texture that was on the canvas before. I wish I should have shown you guys a, a shot of it. How it looked before. I love the texture and how the metallic gold just pop on the canvas. Here are the two smaller ones. Like, they're so gorgeous. I put them in my queen lounge as well as my living room. So if you guys are new or never seen it, or would like to see in the tours or anything how I decorate my home, head over to Queen Val Living 
that's my second channel where you all can get all my home decor how i style everything where i place it at get more details about it and all so anywho let's move on to the next now here is the second diy or pretty much say third i'm using all dollar tree items at this point here all dollar tree items so i'm using these little bamboo sticks here that i had for a minute now i don't have it for a while but i came across this little modern diy wall art where it using it looked like bamboo sticks but i'm quite sure they probably metal or something like that but we're gonna use what we got to get what we want remember that remember that all this is on a budget all right, so here I'm basically just creating the image that I want or the type of art that I want that I feel like would be, once again, perfect for my wall or where I'm going to place it at. So I'm starting off with my base. And what I mean by that with the base, this is basically the part that's going to help you keep this intact as in this look will work. You have to start off with the base. As you guys see, I started off with the first three um, bamboo sticks and then I started to create from that now I want my base to create I meant my base to hold everything intact together so now you guys see there I'm starting to add different layers of sticks and as I go along I'm gonna progress on adding layers taking away layers um short small you know just to give a, a different dimension a very different look or vibe so I'm gonna continue doing this until I actually get the desired look that I like and that works for me and as you guys can see i'm using wire cutters to actually cut down the bamboo sticks down to size or how i want it okay so i'm pretty much satisfied with the look the image that i came up with so now i'm going to take this outside and spray paint it white just so therefore my gold can actually pops on the bamboo stick you know don't dry all up or dissolve into the bamboo stick so once i finish doing the white i let it dry for a little second or two then i'm come back over with this metallic gold spray paint once again and as you guys can see it pops it pops real nicely very well Okay, so now I done brought it in the house and I'm gonna use different sizes of mirror. The square ones came from Michaels. These here, the different long ones, those are from Dollar Tree. Y'all have seen me use the mirror several times. And then I'm using some rhinestone wrap. So base, not wrap, bling wrap, or whatever you wanna call it. Y'all know what I'm saying. Um, anywho, I'm basically taking my mirrors and laying them down on my foundation to give me the look, the image that I want. And so far, this is beautiful i really do like the way that this is coming out so there's no rhyme or reason once again you're just gonna place them wherever your heart desire whatever look best for you whatever you feel like look best for you okay so now i'm using the rhinestone wrap and the rhinestone wrap is just for me to give a different texture a different shine a different vibe to you know a, like a different dimension again on a depth or whatever so that's all up to you you don't have to use rhinestone wrap. you can actually use whatever you want crystals you can use round mirrors rectangle mirror cut out mirrors broken mirror mosaic mirrors it's all up to you what your heart desire you know go with the flow what you love All right, queens and kings. So here is the look on my wall. I try to clean it off as much as I can, so ignore the smudges. But anywho, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Like this thing here, pop. And like I said, the bling wrap just gave me a different look, and I totally love it. So moving on to the last and final DIY, I'm just using some more of those scrap uh, bamboos, where I, sticks, I mean, that I took outside and I spray painted them gold, and I'm using a Dollar Tree vase here, and I'm just going to glue these going around the entire vase now at first i was gluing it with space in between because i didn't think i had enough but i actually did have enough so therefore they can actually fill up the whole vase and i'm just gluing them in the middle and like i said around the entire vase all right royal tees queens and kings here is the final look and as you guys can see i did glue some of the rhinestone wrap around the middle and i love the way that this sparkles so you can use it as a vase as well as a candle holder like i am doing here but i love each and every one of these looks so what about you all did you guys love the looks if you're willing to make these for yourself please give me a big thumbs up comment down below let me know which one is your favorite 
Also subscribe if you are new, just stopping by the castle and turn on your post notification bell. So therefore you don't miss out on the next video and please share with your family and friends and loved one. And you Queens and Kings, what? Continue to be royal. Bye-bye.